I'm just going to do a quick demo of using Microsoft OneNote for taking clippings from web pages and then keeping the clippings organized in the notebook system. OneNote is possibly Microsoft's best kept secret. It, it is so useful for doing this sort of thing. So I thought I'd share it like this. This is the main OneNote screen. You can create notebooks for particular subjects. So I've got one for sort of work stuff, personal stuff. I've made a notebook for this OneNote demo to hold a few pages. OneNote, it does lots of clever things, but the main thing I use it for is just taking clippings from bits of websites. This is OneNote 2007 we're looking at. And so let's let's just do a clipping. So if we, um, if we alt tab over to our browser, it doesn't have to be a web page. OneNote is just grabbing whatever it sees on the screen. So there's a, a hotkey combination for this. The window key is the one with the sort of wavy flag symbol on it, which is next to the alt key. So to do the clipping, you go window key S, the screen goes sort of gray, and then you just drag a box over the bit that you want to clip. And then when you let it go, it's put onto a page which is here in our Unfiled Notes book. You can then move it into a section in one of your notebooks. The reason OneNote's useful is that sometimes on a website, just sort of selecting stuff by dragging over it with the mouse doesn't work properly. So if we copy and paste this, it hasn't picked up the diagram here. <laughs> and the formatting may go funny when it gets pasted into something else. With the OneNote clipping, it remains exactly as you see it on the screen because it's taking it an image of it. So now we've got our clipping, we can make it a bit smaller. We can use this extra space tool, put some space in at the top, put in a title. The title now appears on this tab down here. This tab is a page and then we then drag this over to our antibiotics section here and it gets put in, gets put into the notebook. Can we put that up there? So this is our section in the notebook. And these are the pages in the section, which we're using to, to keep these clippings. You can put several clippings on one page if you want to, and you can put anything else you like on the page as well. The page can be as long as you like. Also, when it takes the clipping, the clipping is put on the, the Windows clipboard, so you can just paste it into something else if you want to. So that's your clippings, and just being able to take that is, is extremely useful. It's a good idea just to paste in the URL of the page that you where you took the clipping from, just in case you want to go back to it at some stage. If you're using Internet Explorer 7, it does that automatically, but it doesn't with Firefox and Chrome. There is also a search function, so if you write some keywords on the page, then it will it will find them. But also, if you search the one, it, it actually reads the text in the, although this is an image, it reads the text in it. So it, it can find words that are in the image. It's, it's see how it's found resistant there, which, uh, which is quite impressive. So if, if you've forgotten where you've put the clipping, you can find it by searching for a, for a word in it. The only limitation of this method is that the, the clipping that you take, it is an image like a JPEG file. And so these, the blue hyperlinks here, they don't work anymore. So one way of getting around that is to click the hyperlink and go back to the original web page. There is always the danger that the, the web page won't be there when you go back to it. So another technique that you can use, if we go to our browser, is if we go File, Save Page As, and then this, if we save it as MHTML, that will save an encapsulated copy of the whole web page down to your down to your local hard drive, which is very similar to a PDF file in that you can open it up or email it or whatever. The advantage with the MHT file is that all the hyperlinks in it will, will work as in the original page, whereas you've lost the hyperlinks on this OneNote clipping here. So if you want to know about that, have a look at this Save As MHT uh, video on YouTube, which explains it in a bit more detail. So it's, it's either the clipping like this or, or the MHT file. As far as I'm aware, there's no way of taking a small clipping like this and having the, the hyperlinks in it working properly. So you have to take your choice. One more thing, you can have subsections here and you can have sub pages here in a sort of tree structure. So you can develop a more com complicated structure if you need it. You can have a shared notebook uh, which lives on a an internet server so that it it can be used as a, a sort of a team workspace or a, a knowledge base for a 
project that you're working on with an, with different people. But that's obviously a bit more complicated. So that's about it. And happy studying.